Yeah, you already know what it is. Lethal Talent 24, die bombing at you with some Eagles content. Let's go. Yo, what up, fam? It's your boy, Lethal Talent 24, coming at you with another video. Yo, guys, I'm going to just die bomb right into it, man. So, uh, today, the Eagles practice, and they had Deshaun Jackson and Alshon Jeffrey return to practice. So, that's that's good news, man. But what does that mean for Tra Travis Fogum? Well, really, I mean, they cannot take this guy off the field. So, if they need to ease Jackson and Alshon Jeffrey into the game, you know, that would probably work better for Carson and Travis it probably work better for the whole team as of right now and then I I mean if you're getting that much production from him you put him in the slot and see what he can do there man I, I mean I know we all love Greg Ward but if you know Travis is going to continue the ball out I don't see why we take him off the field so there's that now um a couple of things have happened today. Also, Will Parks returned to practice as well. You know, he's, uh, you know, Doug said basically that, you know, he's getting ready to go, you know, getting ready for, you know, the game against the Ravens. And, you know, they're just taking it day by day. Um, you know, Lane Johnson as well. Lane Johnson injured his ankle. Um, you know, still, they don't know really what's going on with that. So he's going to be day to day there. And uh, with Miles Sanders, well, you know, with Miles Sanders, he basically said that, you know, you know, he's he's good with Miles Sanders and he doesn't really need someone like uh, Le'Veon Bell, who was released by the Jets yesterday. You know, there's no need to bring him in and and uh, and do something, you know, have him in on this team uh, to give us a, another spark in the run game. I mean, I, I did, I don't know. I don't, I don't necessarily think we, we, I think it would be a luxury to get him, but I mean, if we don't run the ball enough as it is, I don't, I don't see what the point in bringing Le'Veon Bell on the team is anyway. So, um, you know, it is what it is there. Just stick with Miles Sanders. You know, Howie Rosen is pretty much going to be cheap anyway. Uh, so that's, that's it there. Now, uh, <clears throat> a trade came out today, but it was also a report that, you know, basically he wanted to be trade. He wanted to be traded, and that was the linebacker from the Tennessee Titans, who was now traded to the Jacksonville Jaguars. Um, I think is Kamale Correa. I think that's what his name is. Anyway, I I don't really know much about him, but you know, it was a linebacker that was out there requesting a trade, and you know, somebody that may be able to help us. But you know, we won't get to we won't get to find that out now. And then also we waived. Uh, Casey Tuhill, who is uh, we we waived him for to get Vinny Curry back on the team, a six round draft pick from this past uh, from the, earlier this year, and now since he was waived, he was actually picked up by the Washington Football Team. This guy had a great camp. We couldn't really see much out of him, uh, you know, when he did get to play. I mean, he, he would have had, you know, a little bit to, you know, he needed more time to develop and he didn't even get that with us. And so now he's with the division rival and they're probably going to pick his brain. I mean, it's not like they really need to because they beat us. You know what I'm saying? They they already know what we're capable, capable of. So, I mean, really, it's just, you know, that that is just sad that we couldn't develop him. And, you know, you keep playing these games, you know, he basically, he was already protected three times. We couldn't protect him again anyway. So we had to release him off waivers and, and then bam, the Washington football team picked him up. So, um, you know, it is what it is there. It's just stupid that, you know, we drafted him this year and then we lose him this year. You know, it's, it's just ridiculous, man. So, um, another thing is like with Howie Roseman, there's been, uh, talks out there about Howie Roseman that, uh, you know, basically he makes the decisions on who's out there on the field. If that is the case, I think that is absolutely, that is the dumbest thing that you can do. You can give a GM that much power to who he dictates who gets onto the field. And, you know, Schwartz basically said that he wasn't playing the rookies, that they're not ready yet. And he's just going to put out there who he has out there. And, you know, a lot of blame is to go around. It does start with Howie Roseman, though. He gives, he doesn't give Jim Schwartz the linebackers that he needs. You know, 
I don't understand. It's 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 just GM malpractice, man. You can't with the league and how every linebacker is coming out this year, in the past year, the past few years. You know they've been basically, and you know Michael Kendricks called himself the prototype because you know he was one of the, you know, few linebackers that could you know that could also you know that could blitz, that can that was good in the run game and that can cover. You know what I'm saying? And even though he wasn't that great in coverage, you know, at that point, he was probably one of the best linebackers that in that particular with that particular skill set. And now you got a whole bunch of linebackers that had that skill set, and now we're n we're not even getting them. So I don't I I still don't understand where this organization's heads at. I I just leave it to the coaches, give them what they need to succeed, and leave it to the coaches. You know, so that's that's basically it. That's all I got to say today. You guys, let me know in the comments below what do you think about Will Parks returning? You know, what do you think it? You know, it. What do you think it does for the defense? I really just think that you know, just give us give us another body out there for coverage, and you know, hopefully that will make us better. We'll see what we has. This will be basically his debate, his debut with the Eagles. And then uh, let me know what you think about Casey Two Hill, our six round draft pick going to the Washington Football Team. And also let me know what you think about Howie Roseman. You know, how do you feel about, you know, basically him being in charge of who and dictating who belongs on the field for us out on Sunday. So you guys let me know in the comments below. I appreciate if you like and subscribe if you're feeling this content. And also don't forget, if you do subscribe, hit that notification bell. So that way, you know, whenever I post a video. Other than that, guys, Birds fans, keep your talent sharp and go Birds. E-A-G-L-E-S, Eagles, and that's what's up. You guys take it easy. Peace. Every time they put me in a battle, I'm lethal. Nigga, too sweet and low, you ain't equal. Shut up,